Hi there, this is Solitary Ronan from Solitary Ronan Films and welcome to another episode of Double Take. Today's Double Take is from 2012 and it's a couple of Korean crime films. The first one is The Thieves and the second one is A Company Man. First of all, I'd like to apologise for any Korean speaking viewers as I'm probably going to butcher some Korean names here. Um, the Thieves is directed by Dong Loon Choi and stars Yoon Suk Kim, Young Jae Lee, Hai Soo Kim and Gianna Jun. And it's essentially an Oceans 11, 12, 13 type film. And A Company Man is directed by Sung Yun Lim Starring Ji Soob So, Mi Yon Lee, and Do Won Quack. Again, apologies for the pronunciation. Um, I haven't seen hundreds of Korean films, but the Korean films that I have seen, um, I don't remember seeing one I didn't like. They have various levels of liking, from good solid films to some of my favourite films in the last 20 years. So we'll start with The Thieves, which I think became like the second highest grossing Korean film behind um, The Host. It's a glossy ensemble piece like the Oceans films. Um, it takes place in Macau and Hong Kong in Korea. It's the story of two rival groups of thieves, um, one from Korea, one from Hong Kong, as they attempt to steal a jewel called the Tear of the Sun. And it's, as you'd expect, full of double crossing and triple crossing and corrupt cops and there's humour to it. It looks amazing. Um, there's Japanese characters. There's even a bit of English spoken in the film. It's a kind of multicultural mix. You have the kind of stereotypes in these kind of heist films. So you have the old flame. You have the acrobat. You have the safe cracker. You have the um, comic relief you have the distrust um, you have the fake jewel on which one's the real one you could argue the film at two and a quarter hours is perhaps about 15 minutes too long um, but there's kind of breathtaking action. It's superior to the Oceans film, not just because it's Korean, um, but because there's characters that you actually like and there's characters that when they're gone, you kind of miss them. Um, there's characters that you actually care about, which isn't always the case. Um, in these kinds of films. Um, I'm not going to go into too much of the plot. Well, apart from anything else, at times it's quite confusing with all the crossing and double crossing. Um, but it's a lot of fun. These are two different films in tone. This is kind of your kind of light-hearted kind of summer blockbuster type film, even though it does get a little bit darker in the final third of the film. Um, and then you have A Company Man, which is 
completely different in tone. It's a much more serious film. Um, it did remind me a lot of A Bittersweet Life, Kim Ji Woon's masterpiece from 2005. Um, this is the story I think that we can all, or most of us can relate to. It's about a man who works in a company who has an annoying boss, is kind of tired of the day-to-day grind, questions what he's doing with his life. Um, it just so happens that the company that he works for uh, kills people for a living. So it's got the front of being a metal manufacturing company, but in actual fact they carry out hits on people. It has a stunning opening, which it kind of lulls you into thinking it's something else, and then it has an explosive pre-credit sequence. Um, again, I'm not going to go into detail. I'll just say that he has a change of heart and he does thing something that has an effect on him and the people that he chooses to be around. Um, that obviously ends in the way you can kind of expect a film like this to end. Um, he ends up through certain events meeting a woman who used to be a singer that he actually adored when he was in school um, and that kind of romantic angle is kind of done really realistically um, and very much like A Bittersweet Life you kind of want it to work out but of course being in this kind of film you know it's not really going to work out to no surprise um, you have Again, the archetype of his older kind of mentor that he visits with that got out from the company. Um, again, very much like The Thieves, this is a kind of story that we've seen before. But it's shot so beautifully, like most Korean films are. Um, from a technical standpoint, it's a beautiful, beautiful film. Um, the acting's wonderful. So again, even though we have these two fairly generic stories in these films, because they're done so well and acted so beautifully, um, it kind of elevates them to much better films than um, standard fare. You know, A Company Man is not as awesome as A Bittersweet Life, but it's certainly up there. Um, again, the lead character is wonderfully played. Again, he's kind of the quiet, brooding hero, um, even though he does kill people for a living. And then there is actually... There's not as much action as you might think. Well, maybe, perhaps until the end, where you can all kind of guess where it's going to go even though there's slight um, surprises in there. Um, but it really is a film that we can identify with. Um, having a boss that's a bit of an idiot who doesn't really know what he's doing um, and being stuck in the daily grind. But like I said, it just so happens that his daily grind is um, killing people. Yeah, two really good films that I would highly recommend, even though they have kind of generic stories. But as with all, well, certainly as with the, all Korean films I've seen, um, from a technical standpoint, they're awesome. From an acting standpoint, um, it's people that you actually care about and you want to see what happens to them even though you know chances are it's not going to work out again a company man has a kind of fatalistic streak through it just like a bittersweet life which is obviously the kind of films that I really like um, like out of the past Robert Mitchum or Build My Gallows Eye as it's, I prefer to call it Robert Mitchum just that it's a character who knows 
no matter what he does, it's not really going to work out. But he gives it a go anyway, even though deep down he knows it's going to end badly. And it pretty much does. Um, I mean, there is a brief note of hope, perhaps, at the end of A Company Man. Um, but I'm sure it'll be short-lived. So thanks very much for watching. Let me know if you have seen The Thieves or A Company Man. I should say these are both Region A Blu-rays. Um, can't seem to get them on Region B. But I'd highly recommend them again. They look absolutely gorgeous. Especially The Thieves as glossy and shiny and wonderful exotic locations. Well, certainly for somebody from Scotland they're exotic locations. Um, but a company man is really shot with that kind of steely look and it looks absolutely beautiful. Um, there are both making of um, extras which are very interesting. Um, yeah, I would highly recommend them. Again, as we know, Korean cinema just seems to have an endless supply of really good, interesting films. Um, yeah, go check them out if you haven't already, because they're both solid 4 out of 5 star films. Um, so thanks so much for watching. Again, leave comments if you've seen them before, or what Korean films that I haven't told you about that I should check out. And thanks very much for watching this episode of Double Take. So hopefully you'll join me for more Double Takes. This is Solitary Ronan from Solitary Ronan Films, saying thank you very much and farewell. <laughs>